Hello and welcome to Papa Sue Creative. Today I'm going to show you how to make uh, some background paper using tiled clones that you can then use to cut out images, uh, any kind of uh, image element that you want, and print and cut. So we'll start, uh, we'll just make a star. I make them small because I usually work in cards do my path union to convert it, edit, clone, create tiled clones, uh, pressure reset, make sure this gets so your shift is default, your scale is default, and those are the only ones that you really need to worry about. Now you want rows and columns. Uh, for what I'm doing, and I know these numbers work for the size I want, I use 20 rows and 10 columns. And for width and height, I use a 6 inch width by an 8 inch height. Now I'm using inches, so if you're a millimeters or a pixel person, you're going to have to figure that out through trial and error. But this works for me. There's my... Uh, pattern. I have to del delete this one because this is my cloned copy and that's got to go away because that's a duplicate in effect. Now all of these are individuals so for our purposes they need to be a union to make one solid piece. So we have that. Now that's a piece of paper. You can convert this to a bitmap, you can uh, do a screen capture to get a JPEG and you can just print it if you want, but it's so much more fun to stay in Inkscape. Uh, so I'm going to make another star. I'm going to make this one white or unset the fill, doesn't really matter. And bring it over, place it on my paper. I can adjust the size up to the size of my paper. You can also adjust the size of the paper if you want. And I'm going to make two copies of it. That would be nice if I'd get the right one. Set those aside. We'll be working with those in a bit. Reposition this one. Select them both and do an object clip set. Okay, that looks good. The problem is you can't do much with it except do a direct print from Inkscape. And because if you go to display mode outline, you will see that basically uh, all the other piece of the paper is still there. So we'll go back to normal. And this is what I figured out all by my very own self. Uh, I've seen a ton of videos. So I'm going to bring this one and put it over the top. And align and distribute. Okay, so we've got them aligned and distributed. Now we're going to select them both and do a path difference mistake. You've got to lower the star to the bottom. There we go. Now do a path difference. The nice thing about mistakes is you see how to undo or why something happened. Now we'll do the path difference. And there it is. Uh, you can play with colors of stroke and fill and get what you want, but basically there we are. Now, if we go to view display mode outline, you can see that we really do only have the star and not that other stuff. That's my magic. So we'll go back to normal. What I do with this one, this is my mat. Uh, because basically you're going to print this and cut this use this for your cutting piece however you do that so you know how to do that you just put around it 
lower it to the bottom, path, dynamic outset, outset it as much as you want, do a path, union, and you're done. So thank you very much for being here. I hope to see you again, and I'd like to see what you do with this. Come visit me at papasu.blogspot.com. Thanks. Bye.